I called Charlotte the night she was killed. Why? I asked her to meet me. At the church? At the Two Crows. I sat in that diner, waiting for two hours. She never showed up. Look, if someone saw me on the phone, they saw me sitting there by myself with a cup of coffee and a slice of apple pie. Was that your only time with the Two Crows? <sighs> Last Friday night, someone tried to run me over in the parking lot there. I was still working for Yvonne's mother then, making phone calls in a room with a half dozen volunteers. You wanted Charlotte released. That's why you had a change of heart in the hearing. You were afraid Arya's story would convince a judge to keep her in the hospital where you couldn't get to I her. I wasn't trying to get to her. I just wanted to talk to her away from everyone else. You understand that. Sure. After the special attention you got at the bottom of a certain and hole. Not just me, Emily. Charlotte de Laurentiis knew everything about every one of us. Every mistake, every lie, every crime. And she never implicated us the five years she was locked up. She just sat in that hospital, ticking like a time bomb. And what would you have done if she'd shown up? Find out what she was going to do with all her new freedom. And if she said she was going to tell everything? Were you just going to sit there eating her apple pie? Maybe. Or maybe you were thinking of doing something to stop her. It doesn't matter what I was thinking. The fact is, she never showed up. I'll drive you back. What if it had been you? What if you had called her and she had showed up? What would you have done? <laughs>